Hello, everyone. Today, let's learn about marketing together. The evolution of the marketing mix. So, in 1953, Neil Borden was the first to introduce the concept of the marketing mix. Under the guidance of this concept, we saw an expansion of the marketing mix, a new perspective of the 4P mix, the 4C, the 4R mix based on relationship marketing, and the latest developments in the marketing mix, the expansion of the marketing mix from McCarthy's 4P mix to Kodler's 6P mix and the 10P mix in strategic marketing planning to later Boom and Bitner's 7P mix for service marketing. So, the 4P mix refers to a company's own product, product and price, as well as promotion and distribution aspects. The characteristics of the 4P mix mainly include four aspects, that is, the elements of the marketing mix are controllable by the company. It's a coherent structure. A dynamic combination, the marketing mix is subject to the company's market positioning and strategic constraints. So, the concept of mega marketing, the 6P mix, the meaning of mega marketing, was introduced by Kodler in 1984. Companies must be able to influence their marketing environment rather than merely conforming or adapting to it. They should utilize political power and public relations to break down trade barriers in both international and domestic markets, opening up channels for their marketing efforts. This new strategic thinking is called mega marketing. Mega marketing primarily features five characteristics. Its purpose is to unlock the doors to markets. It covers a wide range of aspects. Its methods are more complex. It employs both proactive and passive inducements utilizing both positive and negative incentives, and it involves significant investment in capital, manpower, and time. The entire 10P mix. This framework for analyzing marketing strategies primarily concerns product, price, channels, promotion, equity distribution, positioning, priority, etc. Then there's the 7PS of service marketing mix. This was developed by Booms and Bittner, who adapted and expanded the marketing mix for services to seven elements, namely product, price, channels, promotion, people, physical evidence, and process marketing. The scholar Don Schultz introduced the four R's of relationship marketing, which has garnered widespread attention. The four R's present four new elements of marketing. These concepts have been widely noted. The four R's articulate a new set of four marketing elements. Which four elements? First, establishing a connection with customers. Second, increasing the speed of market response. Third, relationships. Fourth, rewards. So, the latest advancements in the marketing mix are from Kodler's most recent publication in 2018 titled Principles of Marketing. In this book, he replaced the 4PS with the 4S perspective. Then, in 2019, Kodler introduced the 4C's mix to emphasize customer participation, proposing the 4C combination. The 4C's are co-creation, value, activation, and conversation. This is our new 4I combination. To summarize this chapter, on the intricacies of the marketing mix, we've explored the expansion of the marketing mix, the new perspective of the 4P combination, the 4C combination, and the 4Rs of relationship marketing. The latest development in the marketing mix is the 4R combination in 2019. This concludes this section. Thank you, everyone.